Lance are coming back. Don't forget to pick up your unique medal. We have it on Hogan, 13 kill. Catching up from last week's vlog, after the Boulder Boulder, got to take Dale out to, this is Castle Rock, uh, up Boulder Canyon, where I used to climb a lot, and uh, just kind of clambered around and took a couple of uh, really beautiful trips uh, up and around the crags, uh, showing her, like, this is Country Club Crack, you can see the climbers on the right, and then right there is Country Club Crack, right at this overhang is where one of these great pictures uh, this was me in a guidebook uh, leading this on old school gear uh, it used to be one of the test pieces of all time and uh, congratulations to Dewa she's a professional trail worker now for Durango Trails I'm proud of you uh, quote of the day Ron Starlet um, oh man being very kind uh, also asking about the Aimawa, uh Dallas Healing Postures and Meditation. So if you just go to the playlist on the YouTube channel uh, and under Meditation, you can just type in Taoist um, and I'll get you, uh, you'll see those vlogs pop up plus the entire uh, meditation playlist as well. So um, yeah, man, you guys keep watching. I'll keep teaching and we're going to fine tune the teachings over the years to come. Uh, right now, this is pretty much a diary for day one. Now I'm on Big Meadows Reservoir and this used to be my kind of private rock climbing crag and I've taken the horse here. Say hi, horse. And years ago, I did uh, 512, one of the most difficult routes at the time, up this crag behind me and I called it the Elephant Boy. And so here I am like 40 years later, or not quite 40, 30 years later, and look at the base of the thing. It's an old piece of wood. I must have, and, and, I, and I wrote the Elephant Boy. I don't know. It's just very cool to do these routes. Look at that thing. It's stiff. And uh, come back all these decades later with your own daughter and see, see stuff like that. Some of these, the kids nowadays have picking up my torch here and they've developed quite a few number of routes here. So we're going to do this one. I don't know anything about it. Um, and uh, it's just very cool. I wanted to share that with you. So. It's one of the things about getting out and doing, so as to be. So Big Meadows, it's right on the east portal of Wolf Creek Pass. It's right off Big Meadows Road that goes to a beautiful reservoir. A uh, couple of shots of that reservoir right here. So this is your belay device. Yep. Show me which is your brake hand and which is your right hand. Okay, this is so brake hand. If I fall, that goes right back, right? Yeah. You have questions? No. Nope. My life is in your hand. Okay, I got you. All right, let's Hopefully. go. Hopefully, we'll see. Oh my God. I got totally gripped on like a, I don't know, maybe a 5'8", maybe a 5'9". How do you feel, horse? Good. I'm excited to try All right. Full send. Feel bad. That was awesome. That wasn't too bad, actually. God, you full-sended big time. <laughs> that was
points for coming back. Don't forget to pick up your unique. Four, three, two, one. Go get them, 13K. Come back, hang out. 53K. Get them, Jay. Come on, Dodd. Let's do this. Come on. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. Third place, overall female. Yes, sir. Top 15 overall? I was 13th overall. Shoe of choice? Tectons. Ah, they worked really well. I enjoyed them a lot. They gave me enough cushion on the downhill, and they were really responsive on the uphills, and I didn't slip at all. The carbon fiber really helped, I think, so yeah. I would wear this shoe again if I was to race this again. Wow, take us quickly through the race. You went out pretty dang fast, babe. Yeah, I went out like with the pros, which was probably a mistake on my part. <laughs> oh, is it not going to show me my splits? It's not. Oops. Um, I'll find my split and Dad will put it on the screen somewhere. I think it was like 740, maybe. And then that was like mile one of eight. And so I was kind of like, oh. I went out really fast and then was there much communication between you and I guess three girls uh, no in front no there's only like two girls in front um yeah the first one she just went out fast and then she just like kind of gradually pulled away from me and I was like okay I can't do that for eight miles so yeah and then the second girl it was like mile three and a half maybe and she just kind of came up out of nowhere really fast and then like passed and like was gone so, I mean, maybe a tactic would be to start slower and work your way up, but in the past for me, I found that when I start too slow, I just kind of like settle into a slower pace. But who knows, maybe in the longer races, I should probably try that actually. Uh, pretty um, technical terrain, a lot of rocks, a lot of roots, a lot yeah. of ups and downs. Yeah. Uh, you felt pretty solid on that? I did, yeah. I didn't trip or stumble or anything, so I felt pretty sure-footed the whole time. So. That was cool. Wow. Any other highlight? Um, not really. Something I guess that I'm proud of is I didn't walk at all. I know that doesn't sound like a big thing, but I was like kind of dying after like halfway and there was like this decent uphill for like half a mile maybe. And everyone else around me was like walking and I was like, you know what? No, you're not going to walk. The third place doesn't walk. And then, yeah, I didn't. And I was in a lot of pain, but you know it was wow. worth it so yeah wow and really pretty um is this something do you think you'd come back to this race or not really i think so yeah i mean it's pretty awesome i think maybe if there's something else like we're gonna uh climb doko usle on monday hopefully hit it hit up some rock climbing tomorrow i mean it's a lot of travel for just like one race but if there's like another athletic appeal down here maybe around this time of the year we may or may not come back we'll see because i'll have done i'll have just finished up track two next year so wow i have to see you but. are one amazing inspirational girl Thank great you. job out there Good. I'm so we are talking here with the famous steve ilg uh x pro oh god zoom me along this x pro climber biker 
<laughs> no runner. Okay. Anyways, how was your race, sir? Uh, sometimes you're the hammer and sometimes you're the nail. Today I got hammered. I was the nail. Um, I got some footage at the start and then first, basically, three quarter mile went by and then basically. Yeah, wheels went off the bus. Uh, many of you know I was paralyzed in my spine, and it's a very temperamental uh, issue. Trail riding does tend to trigger, and sure enough, within two miles, I was in. It, I don't know if any of you have had a hernia or something like that, but intense neural pain. Um, a lot of times, shooting down my right leg was completely numb. There was just no. There was no running mechanics even possible, so I'm sheepish of even put, putting this on Strava as a race. It was pure survival. I did survive it. Every mile was excruciating. Um, so if any of you can uh, draw inspiration from that, um, a very, very humbling. One foot in front of the other, staying present, so much pain, and uh, at least we got one ilg on the podium today. And. Um, <laughs> Yeah, just, uh, I'm just happy I finished. Yeah, it's it's the athletes who can work through a bad race that you come out stronger in the end from it. It's way less impressive if you did good on a good day than to talk to someone who pushed through and finished on a bad day. So, good job, Dad. Real champion here.